suspecting um, got my bright t shirt on. Uh, suspecting uh, um, Augustine as a mannequin agent. Um, and when we say that, we mean uh, somebody who's not. Um, Somebody who only converted to Christianity because mannequinism was outlawed. It was not outlawed for religious reasons. It was outlawed because it was Persian. <clears throat> Even though it was the Persian um, emperor that executed Manny. Um, but you know how things are with war. I mean, I'm probably not old enough to remember the Cold War, but you know, just in today's news, like Al Nusra or um, Al Qaeda or Taliban, you know, you couldn't be a part of them, even though they're religious. <clears throat> the Manichaeans were a blend of um, Christianity, Zoroastrian, and Buddhism, right? And um, as I said before, um, with Hesychasm, um, the, it didn't really catch on with Christians because Christians are like, okay, what? Okay, the Four Noble Truths. Okay, we already get that. The Eightfold Path to Happiness. We already do charitable and virtuous works. So what? And um, mindfulness and contemplative prayer and um, meditation. We already do that. What are you offering us? Nothing. You know. I mean. <clears throat> didn't really work. Some some became Manichaeans. Uh, they had a dualist view. Um, now, <clears throat> Augustine's mother was a Manichaean, or was a was a Christian, um, and she's a saint. Um, Augustine, his main thing was he was sleeping with a fourteen year old girl, and he just didn't want to get married to her. He just wanted to keep keep sleeping with her. So finally, when the decree came down saying, that's it, you can't be a Manichaean anymore if you're a citizen of the empire. Overnight, he became a Christian, right? And he wrote City of God and Confessions, which are great books, right? I mean, very in-depth. Um, but he also brought in Original Sin and Predestination, which were not part of Christianity before Augustine. That's why John Calvin, Martin Luther Zwingli, they love Augustine of Hippo, right? Here's a funny thing. This is very, this is very, very raw. Please don't judge me by it. But um, I'm doing a uh, trinoctony of uh, Mithra, Mithras. Um. I'm sure I'm going to get heat from that, truth be told. I, I'm using, I'm basing it off of a couple different things. Um, just because I think it's it's interesting, it's art. It's obviously not an icon. Um, well, I guess it would be uh, iconography for, you know, the pagan Romans, but not for me. I, I prefer the saints. And anyways, that's blasphemy. Uh, it's probably Perseus. That's who Mithras really is. Um. But uh, the Orthodox are hesitant to call him a saint. John Chrysostom said Blessed Augustine, so that's usually where the Orthodox stop will call him Blessed Augustine. Some people won't even say that. And then there's a group, a, a, a minority. It's not like a group that meets it's just sporadic people um, that will say Augustine never converted to Christianity. He was a mannequin because of slipping in um, predestination and um, almost the filioque and not only original sin, but almost total depravity, which before Augustine, nowhere to be found in um, in. Uh, in Christianity, and it's really 
Augustine and Pippo who sowed the seeds of the split between the East and West. Now, Jerome, his friend Jerome, awesome, great saint. I love St. Jerome. But yeah, um, and the Vandals, who are Arians, were, were racing across to uh, ex execute Augustine, but he died before they could. Now, if he was martyred, we would have no choice but to call him a saint. But no, that's what it is. It's up in the air. Most will just say, Blessed Augustine. Some will call him a saint. And then there's many others who say, I don't think he converted. I think he was a Manica a lifelong Manichaean. Um, so that's the deal. Um, <clears throat> I would still encourage people to read City of God and um, Confession. All right, peace to you. So that's just explaining it.